it's time for another episode of SPG Grand Campaign. Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel SCF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking. Wow. And today we have episode 124 of the SPG Grand Campaign. And this scenario is uh, Balrog Unleashed. So uh, I don't know who chained the Balrog, but it's now been unleashed upon the world of Middle Earth yet again. Durin's Bane has arisen in the depths of Khazadum. And we'll now try to kill Balin. Kill Balin. Let's see, we'll see. So, um, so I'm currently on a winning streak. Knock on wood. <laughs> and I will try to expand that to five victories. Uh, after I take care of some business with a pesky dwarf named Balin. Son of Yeah. Uh, so um, we do have some goblins as well. Uh, not just the Balrog. Um, the goblins will try to act as this episode's speed bump. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, without further ado, let's take you to the um, the scenario rules after this. cost of many dwarven lives, Balin has won back the upper halls of Moria from the goblins, pushing the vile creatures back into the bowels of the mine. However, evil is still stirring in the depths once again, threatening Balin's newly founded realm. This time, more than mere goblins have been roused to anger by the intrusion of the dwarves and an ancient and fathomless evil has awoken. Bold and fearless, Balin has gathered a forge to mar deep into the mine and deal with this new menace. However, he quickly discovers that this foe is beyond even his ability, and he must now try to escape from the Balrog's lair. And so begins the battle. This scenario can be found in Battle Games in Middle Earth magazine number 85. The Combatants. Although this magazine uh, provides you with card figures as well as previous packs providing you card figures, the combatants in this scenario is Balin, Dwarf Captain, 8 Dwarf Warriors and 8 Khazad Guard. For the evil side it's the Balrog, the Moria Goblin Drum and 24 Moria Goblins. The Gaming Area this battle game is played on a 120 centimeter or four inch, uh, four feet square board created uh, using the four model of the training sections. You'll need the Balrog's Lair from the Pack Modeling Workshop as well as the two Lava Rivers from the Mordor Modeling uh, Modular sections from Pack 45 and a plain section of Mordor Modular Terrain from Pack 44, which are arranged as shown. Alternatively, you can use whatever you have at hand as we have with uh, printouts from RPG, um, drive through RPG. Starting positions. The evil player places the goblin drum, drummers and Mora goblins anywhere on the plain modular terrain section. The good player then places Balin and all of his dwarves on the lava fall, lava fall section at least six inches from any evil model. The Balrog will not enter play, uh, will enter play later as described in the scenario special rules. The escape edge is where Balin and his dwarves must exit. Scenario Special Rules Goblin Mastery In this battle game, the good player must face both a horde of Mora goblins as well as the fearsome Balrog. The presence of this foul demon means that any goblins on the board will benefit from its Goblin Mastery Special Rule. This allows all goblins to automatically pass any courage test they are required to take. Full rules for the Balrog can be found in Pack 20. 
molten lava. The Balrog's lair is an infernal place where the only light comes from the flaming river of lava. Any areas of lava count as impassable terrain to all models except the Balrog who move through them without penalty. It is possible to jump across the lava flow using the rules for jumping. If for any reason the model finds itself in lava, as by falling a jump test, then it is removed as a casualty. Endless Horde There are countless goblins infesting the dark places of Moria, no matter how many of the dwarves slay, more seem to take their place. In this scenario, whenever a goblin, Moria goblin is killed, it may be returned to play from any board edge at the start of the evil player's move phase. Goblins that return in this way may move and shoot normally on the turn they appear, but may not charge. The Balrog Balan and his dwarves has found their way into the Balrog's lair unaware of the presence of the foul demon. Now, however, they can hear its approach and must battle their way through the goblins to make their escape. At the start of each of his turns, the evil player rolls a dice. If the score is equal or less than the current turn number, then the Balrog bursts forth from the darkness and is placed on the board in front of the lava fall, standing on the edge of the rocky outcrop. It may then move and fight as normal, although it may not charge on the first turn it appears. Fearless Dwarfs Such is the loyalty and courage of Balin's dwarf warriors that they will follow him through the fire and darkness and death. Because of this unbreakable faith they have for their lord, they would never think of retreating while Balin was in any kind of danger. In this battle game, while Balin is still alive, all dwarves will automatically pass any courage test they are required to take. Winning the game If at the start of any turn the Balrog has been killed, or Balin and at least four dwarves have moved off the escape edge, then the good player is the winner. If at the start of any turn there are fewer than four dwarves alive, or Balin has been slain, then the evil player is the winner. Any other result is a draw. And now we will show you the board and the armies. Welcome to the depths of Khazad Doom. So here we have Balin and his uh, faithful dwarves. They are trying to get away from what they know will come. Just about here, <laughs> which will be a Balrog of Morgoth. Durin's Bane himself slaying Durin about a hundred episodes ago. Uh, and we have here the Goblin Horde, which will try to stop him and slow the dwarves down until the Balrog arrives. So, Wile has created this wonderful board using um, printouts from um, from uh, RPG... Um, Drive-through RPG. Drive-through RPG, yeah. So this cost us a dollar, yep. I think, for the file. And we can print as many as we want with or without hexes. So if you decide to get some cool printable um, terrain, just go to Drive Through RPG, and uh, they will sort you out. So obviously, um, as we explained, the objective for the dwarves is to run away with at least four dwarves and Balin, uh, and just where Wiles hand is, oh. <laughs> and that table edge, 24 inches across, he will have to escape. While the uh, the goblins um, are returning, so uh, all normal goblin warriors can come back. Mm -hmm. So that is pretty cool. Uh, and you win by either killing um, the uh, the Balrog or escaping the board. And I will have to kill Balin or reduce it to under four normal dwarfs. All right, so. Um, Let's get cracking. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, Wild. And uh, let's come back after movement for the first turn. All right. So Wild has moved his models, and uh, I am uh, I'm sensing <laughs> that he's moving towards this this side. Well, the brunt of his warriors are moving to engage my brunt of my warriors. Although I might try to cut him off. But we, before we do that, I will uh, try to uh, try to get the Balrog. So um, the Balrog arrives if I roll the turn number we are on or less. So uh, on a one, the Balrog arrives. Come on, I've never been so excited to roll low on the dice in my life. No, it's a three. 
So the Balrog does not arrive, and while is safe for the time being. So uh, I will move my goblins. I don't think there will be any combats this turn at all. So um, we'll come back with uh, the positioning and uh, if there's any shooting, as well as the new priority roll. Right, so just a slight nudge on my goblins. Uh, all my bows moved half and uh, this force moved as far as it could without obstructing the line of fire for the goblin archers to the side to cut the dwarves who are trying to get around here, I believe. So, we will first go with these three goblins, who will fire at the Khazad Guards, because why not? So, needing fives to hit, one hits. Needing a six followed by a four, I believe? No. And then these three will fire at this one with the two-handed weapon through the one in the front. Oh, all three hits! Fantastic. And then going through the dwarf to hit him. So let's go for him first, needing a six followed by a four. Nope. And then straight up six on the dwarf with a two hand weapon. No. If only I've been so lucky. So that was the uh, the entirety of this turn. Going into priority for turn two. Goblins get a 1, Dwarves get a 5, so the Dwarves get to go first. So the thin line of Dwarves have moved forwards and uh, are spreading out to deny the Goblins trapping situations. And I guess Wiles' tactic is to take out as many Goblins as he can before um, to thin the herd a bit. Because I can only arrive from, I believe, this table edge. Not completely sure. We will find out, and um, and there will be some turns until I can rejoin the fights. But before we uh, we do anything more with the goblins, like charging into combat, we will see if the Balrog arrives on a two or less this time around. Come on, Balrog! No, no Balrog still. All right, so we will charge and come back with uh, possibly shooting, but at least combats. Alright, so as you can see, most if not all the goblins, except the drum, has charged into combat. And the drum is within range of every single goblin on the table. So I will have a reroll for combat uh, in every single fight, which is perfect. So Wile gets to choose which combat to do first, but I don't think any dwarves are trapped at all. And just start over there. Yeah, with the two goblins versus the one Khazad. The you goblin win. wins on a five, needing a six to take him out. Come on! No, we don't start on a roll. Next one, we have three goblins. I win it on a six, take him out on a six again. No. Then we have two goblins against the next one. Yeah. Uh, it's a draw, but I get the reroll. You win my one. And you do kill. Next one? Yep. We win. And can we take him out? No, we can't. And the next oh. one? Hmm? Yep. Yep. He needs to. No, he was against the other. Yep. Correct. So this yep. one? And let's see if we can take him out. Yeah, finally a dwarf goes down. One. And then we have a shielding goblin versus a Khazad Two. and yep. a uh, a dwarf. warrior. Yep. So I have a reroll, but I don't win on that. So you win it. Khazad kills. We have a captain with a friend. Mm -hmm. The friend wins it. Uh, captain needs a five, the friend needs a six. Captain kills him. And then we have this fight, one on one. 
with a reroll. Nope, you win. Needing a five. This command. Uh, needing a five. No, a six, sorry. <laughs> And then the final combat, which is the two archers on the side here versus the one dwarf. He gets a four. Oh, I get a three, but I do have reroll. And I win. So needing a six. No. So at the end of the turn, two dwarves went down and two goblins went down as well. Uh, but they can be. Uh, oh, from any board edge, actually. Be returned. So, at the start of the evil player's move phase. Alright. So, that was all the combat. So, let's have a look at who gets priority. And it's finally the goblins. Mm -hmm. Any heroics to call? Nope. Nope. So, we'll first check if the Balrog arrives on a three or less. Finally! It moves on or. It starts there and then it can move. So if we shift focus a bit, we have the looming figure of Durin's Bane himself heading for the dwarves and Balin. But for now, we will come back after movement from both sides. Alright, so as you can see on the uh, right hand side, I have two goblins just arriving from the board edge. That was the ones that were killed last turn. With the dwarves taking combats on all sides against the goblins. And in the back, the balrog is looming ever so closer. And there's two dwarves who will try to take pot shots at him, I think. Ooh! One hit. One hit. Uh, strength three, so that would be sixes by sixes, yeah? Yeah, or it disintegrates from the heat. Yeah, I think so. So, that remains us to do the combats, because there are a lot of them. So let's see if the dwarves can kill lots of goblins before the Palrog overtakes them and uh, burns them to a crisp. So I decide which ones to fight first, and I think I will do this one first, because he is trapped. Mm -hmm. So I have two goblins. Oh, and the wild rolls of one. So that wins me the fight. He is trapped, and I need a single six. No! And that leaves the goblins to back away. All right. Uh, which one to do next? I think we have more traps as well. I believe this one is trapped also. Because it has to move in a straight line. Like so? Full inch, yeah. No. So three goblins against him. He is very much tasting six goblins. Needing sixes. There he goes. Another dwarf bites dust, and another one's gone. Uh, he's trapped as well, then. Yeah, would be. So one goblin. Count. Oh, bad luck. Wins it on six. And kills him as well. They go down. And... No, he's not. He can move sideways. There's less... There's more than an inch there. But we'll, we'll take these ones first. So... The one on in the middle there has two against him, so first one on one on the far left side. Didn't you say two against one? Yeah, that was one in the middle there, but that's fine. So yeah. I have reroll, okay. yeah. and I win it. Needing a six to kill, nope. And then the other one on the far left in Treandres. Reroll with the drum. And needing another six. No. So they all three back away. Then we have this one. There's a Khazad and a Bowman. Bow Dwarf against two goblins. 
Man, you're all poorly with the dice today. Well, you're using uh, cheating and using patron dice. Well, I can't all outroll patron dice. <laughs> using the regular dice. Alright, so let's try to take out the Khazard God first. Takes him out, and the other good dwarf? No. So, one of them is gone. So that is five dwarves dead so far. Which is pretty incredible. Let's take this one out, one on one. Oh, in the tray. No, double ones. And then we have the non trapped dwarf there. Oh. We set on the six. Come on! Nope. Doesn't kill him. And then. Goblin Captain versus Dwarf Captain. I win. You roll the six, two win, yeah. To fight five and stuff. Ooh! Two wounds on the captain. That is two wounds indeed, that went quickly. Um, luckily I have two mind points, so anything but a one is fine. With one wound left. And then the poor goblin who now will fight both a dwarf and Balin. I have a reroll. No, so you win. Uh, Balin kills him on threes, the other one kills him on fives. And Balin does kill him. But I think that is a nice trade off. That's three dwarfs for one goblin. That's pretty good. So, going into priority for turn four. You get a six, so you get priority back. You see the. Yeah. Patron dice? Yeah. You want me to switch to the red ones and beat you with my no, dice rolls again? It's fine. Oh, I'll switch to the red it's ones fine. and still beat it's you. Fine. Yeah. So right. we'll come back with. Um, oh, we're all priority. Yeah, I didn't mean let's switch dice and uh, re-roll. No. <laughs> was... So we'll come back after we have moved. Alright, so the dwarves moved in and uh, have engaged pretty much every single goblin there is, with the exception of a spare support here and there. Balin seems to want to uh, <laughs> get as far away from the Balrog as possible. And uh, I've gotten some reinforcements over on this side. The one goblin that died have come back. And uh, the two that died last turn, well, one previous to that, has uh, gotten very, very close. And the Balrog, as always, looms in the horizon. I forgot the throwing axe on Balin. Oh yeah, yeah, do that. Doesn't it? Two points of might? No? Oh. No? Okay. Can um, I march? Hmm? Can I march? March? Yeah. No, no heroic marches. It's too early in the rules. Yeah, this was in way back in 2004 mm. or something. Marching wasn't introduced until 2012, I believe. So... Shooting. Well, I will, I will fire at the Balrog. Yeah, because... I thought the Bal well in this iteration of the Balrog he doesn't have a shooting stat, so I presume he doesn't have his shooting weapon. I hit on one and I the arrow again. Captures you, fire. You had two of them. Yeah, but only one hit. Ah okay, I didn't see the no, two hit. I one. got a six and a one. Ah. Right, so that was the shooting, so let's go into combat. Um let's start over there. See, I still beat you with the red dice. <laughs> Doing a six, there we go. And then we have that one, yeah. Wins it for the goblins, needing a six more. No, this time it didn't go as well. An inch closer to the board edge. <laughs> That's true. So, this one? Yeah. This one. Yeah, do you want to go with this one this first one, because yeah, he's trapped? trapped. Yeah. yeah. You win it on the six. Oh, and he's pretty bent. There we go, yeah. Uh, is he trapped? No, he's not. Mm -hmm. so he has to move one inch in straight line. He can't do that. So, he can't? He, he can't, no. Okay, so, we'll take this one. Yeah, but I have two goblins there, though. Yeah. And we win. Can't do anything well. You're not trapped, though, so. But I don't kill you. 
One on one there. Oh, it's a six from the goblin. Kill someone on the six. No. One inch closer to the tail edge. <laughs> uh, two goblins against the archer. The archers win it. Well, the goblin. The goblins win it. It's not an archer. Um, let's see. We do kill him as well. Perfect. Uh, then we have a lone goblin yep. against a shield wielding dwarf. The dice are not with you today. Nope. Might cast it against your captain? Yeah. Captain wins. Only got one wound left, so he has to make this one. But that does not kill the castle god. Then we have a goblin against your captain. Point of mine to win? No. No. Pretty big small chance of wounding him though. An inch closer to the border. <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, these two goblins against uh, the 200. Yep. Going 100. Yeah. Ooh, but I do have a reroll. See? No, you win it. Um, so. Archer. Well, they're both on fives. Yeah. So wouldn't a four won't do anything? Wouldn't that matter? And then finally, we have a lone spare goblin against Balin, who rolls poorly. But I roll poorly as well, but you win it on fight, and you still win it. Kills him. You kill both. No, there's only one there. There's only one. Yeah. yeah. So that's two goblins, two, two dwarves. Yeah. And uh, we go for priority turn five. And the dwarves get it. Hmm. Anything to call? Can I keep six inches? We'll keep Balin closer. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to. Yeah. I'll have to try that. So, Hero can move with the Goblin Captain. Okay. Yep. Do you want to counter? No. So, we'll come back after movement. Alright, so we are back after movement, and as you can see, the Balrog has gone ever so closer because the cheeky cheeky dwarves ran away. <laughs> so, um, most of the here dwarves are in combat except this one, and of course, the two archers. He ran away um, towards, I think, the drum <laughs> to take that out, uh, and Balin has been surrounded by a lot of goblins. To try to take him out. Well, a lot, I say a lot, but it's basically three. So uh, you have some shooting first. Well, you don't because they move too far. So I have a shot, which is this goblin who will shoot at this archer in the back. Needing a five to it? No, nothing. So then we go into combat. So, which one do you want to start off with? This one. That one, Kazad Guard, yeah. Who's in combat with two of them? Yep. Yep. Oh, when you get a six, so that's a win. Needing a four to wound. And that's a goblin. Which means the other one isn't trapped anymore against three goblins. Being four highest. Doesn't need my reroll for that. Um, he's not trapped, but I still kill him. Die, dwarf, die. Next up, we have one Kazagard against two goblins, and you win on the six, needing a five to kill. And you don't. One dwarf against two goblins over there. You win so far. I have reroll, but you still win, needing a five to kill the goblin. No. Then uh, let, uh, let's take your captain first because uh, okay. my captain is severely damaged. Uh, your captain wins against my goblins, takes him out on a four plus. Oh, doesn't. No my point. No. Um, let's take the lone dwarf against the goblin archer. Reroll. No, you win. Kill someone else. Five, yeah. 
And then we can take my captain, who will fight it against the castle guard. And I get a six to win. My captain is holding strong, needing a six to wound as well. <gasps> no. And then I have three goblins against Balin himself, setting the bar at a five. The Balin wins on a six. So he would need force to take him out. Takes one of them out. Which one do you want? So there we go. And that's all the combats for this turn. Let's go straight into priority for the next turn. Ooh, and the goblin gets it. Any heroics? Mushroom deck, please. Thank you. Well, you have to get into them. I need to stop here. Oh, uh, time now for a round. Another round. Yeah, no. 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 All right. So let's come back after we have moved. All right, so we are back and as you can see, there is no shooting on the board because everything is in combat, uh, including for the first time in this scenario and for the first time in oh, nearly wow. a year yeah. on the campaign, the Balrog is in combat. So let's see, uh, the goblins have priority. So, I can just do away with him first. He gets a 5. I have a reroll. But you still win, killing the goblin on a 4+. Plus. And you do. Next up is this lone castle guard against 3 goblins. We win on the 3. Lousy 3. And we do kill him as well on the first go. We have these guys. 2 goblins against 1 castle guard. Goblins win, take out the Kazagard on six. No, six altogether. And then the next dwarf there against two goblins as well. We get a six in the tray. But the other six didn't come up, so he is still alive. Um, then we have this combat one on one. Reroll. No, you win. Needing a five. Goblin is still alive. Your captain against my goblin with a bow. Oh, come on. Might. Yeah, you won. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm commoning your uh, lack of good die rolling today. Let's see if we can, can take a wound off him. No, we can't. You need a 6 by 4? 6 by, six by his defense, 8 with a shield, so that's a 6 by 4, yeah. It's strength three. My Kazad against your captain? Yeah. Goblin captain is fighting it. And rightly so. Oh, I saw the six there. So, Kazad is still alive. My Balrog against your two archers. Oh, you get a six. Balrog has four attacks though. But doesn't get the six. You beat the Balrog back. Damn it. It's Can they wound as well? In slumber for so long. Needing sixes by sixes? Nope. No. And then finally we have Balin versus three goblins. Goblins have a reroll. It's a six there. Oh, Do you have a re No, you oh, have I a reroll re first. Yeah. The Durance Axe. Points of might. Points of might. So you kill this one on threes and the other ones on fours. I'll prioritize this one. You'll roll one die at yeah, the time, yeah. I think. Yeah. So he's dead. dead, and then the other guy's on the four. Yeah. yeah. So this one, and you can choose which one other to go. Yeah. Good. Oh, shame about the Balrog. Priority. We do indeed. So, goblins get a five. Well, it's. It's. <laughs> okay. Uh, might. Uh, two. Heroic. Move. Heroic move with Balin? Uh, no, the captain. Captain? Yeah. Alright. No. Ech. Okay, yeah, the, ca uh, the captain. 
doesn't bow another six inch range up to the two yeah, watches? Yeah, I, I didn't want them. Well, maybe. No, it's fine. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you forgot the um, whip. No, you didn't have the whip. No, Never not mind. in this iteration Never of mind. rules. I'll go first. Uh, so, the captain. Mm -hmm. He won't be able to get past that zone, will he? Well, he we could charge this one and go around. Well, I'd rather have him there, I think. Mm -hmm. Two dwarves left to move. All right. That's a good alert. So all the dwarves have moved, and um, as you can see, Balin is trying to escape with his life intact. The goblins will try to stop him, so we will come back after the goblins have moved. Okay, so we are ready to proceed with the game, and uh, we've just counted, and uh, I need to kill five more dwarves to win the game. Um, meanwhile, Wal has to get four of the dwarves and Balin off the table to win, or kill the Balrog. And uh, just over this rock is where Wal needs to get off the table. And there's also a goblin reinforcement behind the rock here uh, with the spear. So there seems to be no shooting at all this turn. Um, so we can just go ahead with combat. We'll do this one first. There's two goblins against the Khazad. Khazad wins on a six, needing a five. Doesn't kill. Then we have three goblins against the Khazad. And here we go with a good dice rolling. Uh, so I'll guess you'll take the one with the shield. Yep. We have two goblins against that one dwarf warrior. We win and we don't kill him, so he's alive. My captain against Khazad. Captain wins it. Kills the Khazad on the six in the tray dress. There we go. That means four more dwarves to kill. Um, the archer versus the archer. There we go, and doesn't kill him, so he's alive. We have your captain against a lone goblin. That was a three. It was, yeah. Uh, can we kill him? No, we can't. So you're closer to the table edge. Um, these two goblins against this warrior. I have reroll, and I win. Let's see if we can kill him. Nope, we can't. And then Balin versus the four goblins. Balin rolls the four highest. <gasps> but the goblins are also three highest. They do have reroll getting a four, but you do win then on your um, your fight value. Um, threes? Threes on him, yeah. Nope, again. So they're pushed back. And finally, the Balrog versus the Lone Archer. Balrog gets a six. Needing, he's got a strength of lots. He's got a strength of eight, which means he kills him on threes. And all of them. So that means three more dwarves to kill to win the game. Priority. Goblins get it. Any Eryx? No. So we'll come back after movement. 
All right, so we are back and um, the Balrog has loomed ever closer to Balin, who is fighting six goblins on his lonesome currently. Uh, behind the rock here is now two goblins who were uh, moved in from the last turn. And there's a couple of stragglers all around here. So my objective is now to try to kill three dwarves. So trying to kill two other dwarves and the dwarf in combat with the Balrog. So let's start off with this one. And you indeed get a six yet again. So needing a five and you kill him. So my plan failed. <laughs> two goblins against that Khazad. We win it on the six. Come on. No. Was he trapped against rock? Well, I think he. I think he was. Yeah. Yeah. I'll roll again. No. Still not. Then we have this one. Two goblins there as well. Double one, but you get the six. So that is a victory for you. But no kill. Uh, we have my captain as well as a goblin archer against your archer. The normal archer wins it. And the normal archer kills it as well. The captain did nothing. Uh, then we have my Balrog against your lone warrior. Getting a six. The Balrog does not get six. And does not have might points. But sadly the dwarf warrior couldn't take a wound off the Balrog. Your captain against my bowman. I have a reroll, but you win, needing a 4 to kill it, you do. And then finally, Balin versus 6 goblins. Balin gets a 4 highest. We get a 6, you do have a reroll. Don't have enough might to win. No, no, because you've spent 1 yep. and Balin has 2. Yep. Yeah. So we double up the attacks. But Balin has a defense value of eight. Nine? Nine. Yeah. Eight. eight. So that it would be sixes by fours. Let's see if we can take a wound off him. Let's see if we can confirm that one. We do. So one wound so far. I'll just take it. He'll take the wound, yeah. Because he has. Uh, he has uh, one fate and two wounds. So he's got one wound and one fate left. Doot, doot, doot. Priority. Ooh. Do you want to call anything? No, my captain is all the way up there. Okay. I misplaced my captain. Well, he's right there. <laughs> well, I misplaced him, but you know. I can't afford to lose anyone. I'll have to go for them, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, so because if I kill one, yeah. You've got your Khazad God over Oh, I've got, no, so then you have to kill two. Because there's one, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four, five. Five, there it was the last one, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I haven't got any extra. So I'll try to trap your captain. Can't trap your captain. And the Balrog seems very impotent because he can't get through that thing there. I'm gambling on it. No, he really can't because there's 16. Yeah. So he'll have to go there and stare down at you. And the goblin captain comes down. 
You found him again? I found him, and now he's in a better position with his single mind point. And my last reinforcements. Alright, so with that, uh, the dwarves and goblins are stuck in melee, and um, and yeah, it seems very desperate for the dwarves to try to win this now. But we'll carry on. So we have Do one. Do you want to shoot into combat there? He's moved too far. Oh, okay. So three goblins against one dwarf. We're also one. Wins it on the six, doubling up the attacks because he's trapped, needing a six. So if I kill a single dwarf, a single dwarf more, that's a victory. So you win that one, needing a five. No. Uh, let's do Balin and the uh, goblins. So you have reroll first, and I reroll. So you win. So you kill both of them on threes. Because there's two arches there. Oh, come on! Double ones. Then your captain. You have three goblins there. Captain wins. There's one new wind on fours. No. Has a go against a drummer. Drummer, can he win me the game? No, he can't. And then the final dwarf, four goblins. He gets a five, it's strong. I have a reroll. Can I get the six? I can't. So he wins. There's. A, well, he wounds everything on fives because it's strike three. Oh, I saw the six there. So that leaves it one more turn. And if you're wondering... Hmm? Yeah. I needed him to back the other way. Which one? This one. Oh, yeah. Uh, and if you're wondering why we're not rolling Courage Test for the Dwarves, is th that because Balin is alive, the Dwarves always pass their Courage Checks even for breaking. So, priority. The goblins get it. Point of might. I'm doing because I can't get him through here. Can I? No. No. Well, you can get these on the other side though. Yeah, but captains. I need everyone to survive and if he gets stuck on this side, you can get the bell again and Mm. Let's game over. So, all right. So we'll move this lot against this dwarf. We'll move get my captain in there. Mm, I shouldn't have done that. I should have moved him first. And then I have to make it overkill. Rawr. There we go. So, shall we take the hero combats first? Mm -hmm. So we have your captain against my captain and three goblins. You get a five, so you can auto win this. Um, yeah, you win. Checking the captain. Mm, point of my to wound him. Yeah. Then he's dead. And then we have Balin versus five goblins. So three, five from the goblins, reroll from Balin, only gets him a two. So that would be ten attacks, can I take down Balin? Oh, it certainly seems like it. There's four sixes, taking down Balin on a single four. 
That's three fours and Balin is down. And that is, as they say, the game. It's the game. So thank you so much, and we will come back with our thoughts in the post-battle batter break time. Alright, so we're back with the post-battle batter breakdown, and it's another victory for evil! Oh see how happy it gets? After, <laughs> after like two years of losses, I don't yeah. think anyone can fault me of okay, I, yeah. winning a couple of games here and there. Oh, that's fine. Because <laughs> the dwarves are driven out of Moria after all. So. They are. Sadly not at this point in the campaign though. Um, so, proof that we don't rig the campaign to, um, to win either side. We, uh, we do want the, the campaign to, to go in a certain, certain direction, but we never try to cheat to, to win or get a result, which is what we want for the campaign, if that yeah. makes sense. Um, so obviously, um, Balin has crawled out of the corpses surrounding him, uh, trying to rally, so uh, he's not dead. Not truly. Uh, but next time. Yeah, hopefully, maybe. hopefully he will die yet again. So we we did have some thoughts about this mission um, immediately after we we played this. Um, one of the first things we, we both figured out really at the same time was that the, the goblin reinforcement rule yeah. really needed to be on four plus. Yeah. Uh, because getting that many reinforcements in from the uh, from the side of the table to basically get more goblins stuck in and, and preventing you from escaping is not the best thing oh. uh, for the dwarves. Uh, they have tough enough time as it is dealing with the Balrog and the rest of the goblins. Yeah. So I think that would be a good solution to the problem. Yeah. So I, I would try to implement that change and playtest it some more. And maybe add more warriors and take away the drum. Yeah, because you hate Probably. the drum. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, or just get rolled with, with the patron dice. You you could roll with the patron yeah, dice. Yeah, I roll with patron dice. And I roll with the other patron dice. Yeah. Well, you could re roll with green roll ones. With green. Uh, Anyhow, yeah, I, I think a lot can be attributed to Wild's abysmal rolling of dice in this scenario. Uh, poor luck. Well, yeah, it's a dice game. So it is a dice it's game, but then again, I'm not going to blame everything on the dice. Well, in this one, you could blame a lot of things on the dice, though. <laughs> Should really have done better with the dice. Um, but it goes to show that the patron dice are awesome. <laughs> yeah. So become a patron and you'll get dice. If you're at a certain pledge level. So yeah. Yeah. Next week? Next week. Episode 125? Yeah. Mirror Mare? Mirror Mare. Yeah. As you will see next week, Balin really did survive. This. Yeah. So uh, next week we have the famous um, location of Mirror Mare. Mm -hmm. That is of course the the small lake outside the uh, west gate of, uh, of Moria, where the Fellowship famously meets the Watcher in the Water. And it's also where Balin in the story dies. So hopefully I'll be able to replicate this feat I did, but I won't have the Balrog this, uh, next time. Oh, no Balrog for me for a couple of more scenarios. And this one will be the original uh, version of this one from Shadow and Flame supplement uh, coming out in early 2002. So by the time you're watching this, that supplement is 16 plus years old. Yeah, that's that's a long time ago. Yeah, if you were born when that scenario came out in Denmark, you would be old enough to drink. Yeah. It's <laughs> you would be 16. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to date you here. Yeah. Well, it, it's like giving references to other stuff as well, being it's, 16. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more, it's more than half, half my life yeah. ago. Yeah. Add a year to that, it's half my life. Yeah. Mm. It's good. I've been yeah. playing <laughs> Lord of Rings for half my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. I'm a nerd. So, uh, so yeah, um, so watch out for next one. Um, until then, uh, do go back and watch the other videos we have. Uh, we release a video nearly every day. Yep. Uh, so, um, so there's plenty of cool content coming out for you guys uh, in the pipeline, I think. 
there just was a scenario against uh, our um, our wonderful compatriots over at uh, Table to Battle, which is a fantastic scenario, and I encourage you to watch that in the um, the Battle Reports um, tab, and then more cool content from other games as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, please comment, like, share, and subscribe, and do consider supporting SDF on Patreon using the link in the description below. And if you already are a patron, thank you very, very much. Your uh, support is very much appreciated, and it allows us to uh, keep having this studio to film in and uh, allowing us to do more cool video content for you guys. Um, and as always, support your hobby. <laughs>